Now let's talk about perspective in text. In Corel Draw, you can add perspective onto your text. So for example, here we've got some, we got the word perspective here, and I want to add some perspective on this text. Uh, it's an effect, so you go to effects and click on add perspective. Then when you click on add perspective, you're going to have this four uh, nodes and you can uh, drag that going down or you can also make this one so there's an illusion of their perspective and if you look at this X here that's the vanishing point you can click on that and you can actually adjust it okay you can adjust it like that now that's that's useful especially when you're doing a product um, product presentation or let's say you've got a box wherein you have to put perspective on the text okay <clears throat> the thing you have to remember too if you're doing a paragraph a paragraph like this and uh, I did uh, and I'll control V to type in my paragraph or my text let's say you've got a paragraph like that I'm gonna make in increase that you can you cannot create perspective effect onto a paragraph text okay so for example here I click on my paragraph text and I click on effects and I go to perspective it's grayed out so I can't I can't do perspective on a paragraph text okay so what you have to do is you click on the paragraph text you go to text here and then make convert it to artistic text first or control F8 Okay, so convert to artistic text. So it's no longer a uh, paragraph text, it's artistic text. But now I can do perspective. So click on add perspective, then I can do perspective on my paragraph, on my text. There. Okay. Now in page two here, I also have an example here where you can use the, um, the perspective text. Let's start with this one here first. Let's say I've got a product, a software product here, a software box, and I want to put perspective on to make it realistic. So first of all, I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees. And then I'm going to put this on this side. It's going to enlarge it a bit, or maybe, maybe not. I'll just do it this way here. Now I click on effects and I click on add perspective. And what I'll do, I will just adjust this, this node here and this one too. Okay, and this one. There. It's that easy. It's very easy to do it. Now, going back here to my... You can actually group text and then put perspective on. Okay. So take note on this one. This one is not a paragraph anymore. It's an artistic text. So what I did, I made the I converted the paragraph to a an artistic text. So first you have to oops, undo that. First you have to group the the text first. So I select the text and then I go arrange and then group. Then when once I group it, I'm going to position it onto my box. Let's say, let's say that's fine like that. Okay, then I can go to my effects and add perspective, and then I'm just going to adjust it this way. Okay, maybe I can make this bigger like this. There. So that's how you adjust the perspective of your text okay. I'm, and you can still uh, adjust the perspective even though you already applied to it 